Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mesco. 11.0 has dropped for the War Within, and with the pre-patch comes a lot of changes to the talent trees for Monk and Mistweaver as well. So today, I am going to go through the changes to the Monk talent tree, the Mistweaver talent tree, and I'm going to give you every single build that you need up until the War Within. Probably going to be fairly similar going into the new expansion with the addition, even with the addition of the hero talent. So with that said, let's jump right into the video. Now, if you don't care about what has changed for the talent tree, that's fine. And you just want a copy of the code. I will have it all in the description. I also have chapters, so you can just skip to whatever you want. I'll try to give a short explanation of what I think the best talents are. But I've done a lot of testing on the beta, alpha, all of that. So I'm going to first start off with what has changed, especially on the monk side of the tree. This is where a large majority of the changes are. We got a lot of new talents and we got quite a few changes so we got some new talents about crashing momentum when you roll through a target they get slowed and then there's another talent winds reach that increases the range of disable and then also increases the duration of the crash momentum debuff and then also makes it stronger uh the slow stronger which is really nice i'll try to just go through some important ones jade walk increases your movement speed outside of combat by 15 percent, which is really nice really good for pve actually also kind of solid for rbgs because you're kind of out of combat um a good amount of the time Energy transfer su successfully interrupting an enemy reduces the cooldown paralysis and roll by five seconds. So this is nice, especially if you're running out of mobility. You get a quick interrupt. You can use CC and you can roll. The, the this one is really nice. The elusive miss reduces the damage taken by you and your target while channeling student miss by six percent. The unfortunate thing is that it doesn't work with statue. Sadly, I, I wish talents like this worked with statue, but it doesn't. So we don't get that value. I don't think it's that good. Sadly. Quick footed, so the duration of snare effects on you is reduced by 20%, really good for RBGs. And then the hasty provo provocation, which makes the target that gets taunted increase the movement speed, movement speed by 50%. Peace and Prosperity reduces the cooldown of Ring of Peace by five seconds. And the Song of Chi-Gi's cast time reduced by 0.5 seconds. I have queued into a Windwalker on beta that was playing this talent with Song of Chi-Gi. It's really good. I still think Rop is just generally better, but now Song of Chi-Gi maybe won't be as bad. Spirit's Essence, so Transcendence Transfer snares targets within 10 yards by 70% for four seconds when cast. This is nice. So you actually get technically two charges of it because if you're playing um, Escape from Reality, you can port and then slow targets and then you can like kind of reset it and then port back, uh, which is kind of nice. The Dance of Wind. I think we have this already. Celestial Determination. So when your Celestial is up, so whether it's Ren, Chiji, Yulon, uh, Naozu, Naozu, uh you can't be slowed below 90% movement speed, which is really nice for RBGs when you queue into Blood Decays. So I am a fan of that. Swift Art roll removes a snare effect on you once every 30 seconds, which is nice. And then a lot of talents were changed from like two points to one point. So save the ball used to be two points. Now it's one. So this last row, they made lighter than air. So after you roll, you can like double jump and then it propels you forward, which is kind of nice. I could I can show it super quick. I uh, sadly, there's not a lot of wiggle room for like the bottom tier of the monk talents. So you roll and then you can double jump and then you dash forward, which is really fun. Boom. It's cool. You're like, a, you're like almost a demon hunter. And then we have, oh, this talent right here is really, really good too. So this one is just a stat bonus for flow of chi. Uh, when you're above 90% health, you have increased movement speed. When you're below 90% and you're and above 35%, damage taken is reduced by 5%, which is great. And then when you're below 35% health, you take a 10% increased healing. So that's nice. We have escape from reality, which is great. Martial Instincts increases physical damage done by 2% and avoidance by 2%. And then you have the choice between Clash or Rushing Reflexes. I like Clash a lot, but again, there's not a lot of wiggle room for these the bottom tier of the Monk Tree. But those are pretty much the highlights of the Monk Tree. For the Mistweaver side of the tree, not much has changed. They move some things around, they remove some stuff, but there's not a whole lot of changes. So they gave us Crane Style, which basically makes it so Rising Sun Kick works for Mastery and spinning crane kick and blackout kick, which is really cool. That's very nice. They gave us a new talent here. So they reworked Zen Pulse, where your Renewing Mist has a chance to make your next Vivify make a Zen Pulse, and it does healing, and that healing's increased um, for each Renewing Mist you have active, which is fantastic. And then they made a talent, so when you use Thunder Focus T, you always get a guaranteed one. So if I Thunder Focus T, and then I just cancel it right here, I, should, I get a proc for Zen Pulse, so. That's really cool. That's neat. They made our tier set from last tier a talent. So Chi Harmony now increases the healing done 
by, for the first day tech entrepreneur, you missed by 50%, which is fantastic. So that's really good. I think it was basically mandatory for Miss Weaver. So really, really good amount of healing. Uh, Yulon's Whisper, they reworked. So while channeling mana to you exhale the breath of Yulon, I still think they should just completely remove this talent. I, they try, they're try they trying to make it work. It just doesn't work, sadly. And then down here has not changed. They removed Cloud of Focus. But that is pretty much it for the Miss Weaver side of tree. I don't think there's too much. They removed something here with Essence Font. Maybe Font of Life is what it was called. Something like that. They removed the talent here. But yeah, everything else is pretty much the same. They moved some things around. But that is it for the talents for both the Monk Tree and the Miss Weaver Tree. With that said, let's jump right into the talent builds. This is the build I use for Cast and Miss Weaver. Not much changes too much. And of course, there's a few iterations you could do. The most disappointing part is I can't reach Clash or Lighter Than Air for this last tree, unless you wanna be a little bit more not as safe. Like you could drop Flow of Tree and get Lighter Than Air so you can get the dash. The issue with the monk side of the tree is that you need two points of martial instincts to get clash, which I think is possible to do if you wanted to drop, again, if you want to drop this heal go here, you could still do that, but you do want save them all, which makes it so when you heal somebody below 35% health, you gain an extra 10% healing. But if you don't want that, you could drop that too. And then you'd have to drop probably the tiger tail sweep to get clash so if you do want clash and you want all of the mobility you do have to sacrifice some healing for it which is very unfortunate i i wish it wasn't like that on the right hand side on absolutely nothing has changed <laughs> nothing has changed on the right hand side i they drop cloud of focus so you just have one extra point to work with i went with the zen pulse i like zen pulse any you know, more healing is good healing for Cass and Mistweaver. Uh, there really aren't many flex points for Mistweaver on the right-hand side for the Mistweaver tree. You need pretty much everything. Next up is Fist Waving and PvP. And for this, you want maximum uptime. So what I personally enjoy is go for the Ferocity of Juen for damage. Get all the damage challenge, get your defensives. And then I personally like Lighter Than Air and Clash. I think these two talents are really nice to have i think they're must-haves when you fist weave in pvp because so many people know that you need to kite and cc a mistweaver so that's what i play i you could maybe run bounce back and drop clash if you really wanted to but the martial the martial instincts increases the damage you do so i think that's really important to get on the right hand side you want chi you want your ancient teachings on the right hand side on the bottom right you want shaylin's gift if you don't like shaylin's gift like me you could technically drop and go here but i think shaylin's gift is pretty solid plus you're going to want to get used to it because in the war within you're going to have some talent a talent that requires you to play shaylin's gift so that is it for fist weaver it's really strong the mobility you have is absolutely insane i don't think many classes are going to be able to get away from you and it's gonna be really strong from now going into the war within. Next up is Fist Weavers for PVE. And this a little bit has changed, a lot of cool stuff. You obviously go for all the damage spells, right? You go for all the damage talents, you get the crash momentum for the slows, you go for the tiger tail sweep for the reduced, or for the increased range of leg sweep. Ferocity of Zhuen for the increased damage. It's now one point, which is nice. Save them all. And then you do go for a Chi Proficiency, which increases magical damage and healing done. And then you get Lighter Than Air and Flow of Chi. Lighter Than Air has a lot of good uses. If there's any fall damage, you could, if you, you know, if there's any knockups in the air, you could roll and you can dash. You can dash on water. You can actually walk on water when you have this buff, which is fantastic. And then you're going to want to go with Martial Instincts for the increased physical damage and avoidance. Right hand side, your fist weaving. You just go all the fist weaving talents. You do get a really nice new talent called Pool of Mist, which makes it so your Renewing Mist has three charges, which is absolutely insane. And it reduces the cooldown of Rising Sun Kick. And then when you Rising Sun Kick, it reduces the cooldown of Renewing Mist. And you're obviously going to be taking advantage of Rising Mist and Zen Pool. So the idea here is to fist weave, get your Renewing Mist out, reduce the cooldown on your Rising Sun Kick, use your Rising Sun Kick, to extend the hots with rising mist and then that also reduces the cooldown renewing mist you're gonna be doing a lot of healing it's it's just you're spamming your damage renewing mist it vivifies whenever you can and you're just doing as much damage if you need to recover use your shadeland's gift but overall very solid pve build here i do like this a lot in in mythic plus next up is rbgs that i had a blast doing at the end of last season and i plan on pushing rbgs in season one rbgs is a little weird because you want a little bit of both you want healing and a little bit of damage but 
you mostly want as much healing as you can. However, you do go the snare talent, so the duration of snare effects on you is reduced by 20% because of those dang blood decays and all the slows. So you do run that that talent, and then everything is fairly the same compared to Casimus. So if you are casting in RBGs, you are using Yulon's Grace. That gives you a shield uh, that prevents magic damage. You're going to go Statue, of course. And then I still go Flow of Chi. I think it's really good. Again, if you want the extra mobility, if you're planning on peeling out to nodes or you're the peel healer, uh, I would definitely go Lighter Than Air over Flow of Chi. That's just my opinion. The extra mobility is really nice. And again, you can walk on water when you have this buff. So if you are on, if you are in a Wrathy Basin and you're at blacksmith and someone's hitting stables and you need to peel out you can roll and run across the water as long as you have the buff so that's really important it gives you extra mobility which is really nice so i would if you're the peel healer at all i would be playing lighter than air right hand side not much has changed you're again going for healing yeah, you're going to be using normal revival. I do go for resplendent mist, secret infusion, and to invoker's delight because you do want some pretty good haste uh, for all of you to just basically make your hots better. And then you're going to be doing a lot of healing through tier of, Mor tier of mourning. And that is pretty much what I got for RBGs. Again, not much has changed, but you just want to heal as much as you can. All right, I got two builds for raiding, one for casting, one for fist weaving. Probably mostly depends on the boss fight and what you're comfortable with doing. So for the first one, this is the casting version for raiding as a Mistweaver. You're just focused on healing talents. That's it. Not much changes over here. You're really just going for defensives with Yulon's Grace, Fort Brew. You don't run statue and you go for lighter than air because the extra mobility is nice. You can go port too. If you don't want port and maybe there's ads you need to round up and root, you can go clash as well. I just like transcendence a lot, but you're just going for defensives. You're going for damage whenever you can and you're focusing on healing output. Right hand side, it's actually very similar, similar RBGs. What you're doing is you're going for healing and you're going to come down here. You're going to run some haste and you're going to have secret infusion, invoker's delight, unison and Shailen's gift. Shailen's gift is a very, very strong cooldown. I would ideally you want to use that maybe seven or more stacks, but Shailen's gift is really good. And you're going to be going with the Zen pulse rework, which again, does a lot of healing. It's super nice, but this is what you're going to be using when you're casting as a Mistweaver and you're raiding. And finally, this is the rating build when you're fist weaving on the left hand side you go for the damage talents you're going to be using first shift when you're going to be using chi wave you're going to get your defensive cooldowns with yulon's grace and fort brew and then you can come down here lighter than air is really really good talent in almost every aspect of miss weaver essentially i really wish clash wasn't too uh, like so hard to get to with in combination with lighter than air and then you're going to be fist weaving so you want more one stinks so you increase your damage and avoidance on the right hand side you don't really go for the ancient teachings you go for damage with shaylun's gift and extending your hots the goal here is to play pool of mist with three charges of renewing mist very similar to fist weaving but you're going to be casting essentially you're going to be playing Pool of Mist, getting out as many Renewing Mists as possible, extending it with Rising Sun Kick, and then also renewing the, um, reducing the cooldown of Renewing Mists, which is really important. And your goal is to just have as a ton of Renewing Mists, and then you're going to be taking advantage of Zen Pulse that increases the healing it does, depending on how many Renewing Mists are out there. So really, really good talent tree here. Really good build. This is going to do so much healing. Get your Renewing Mist out, extend it with Rising Mist, use your Vivify to heal everybody, with uh, Renewing Mist and then Zen Pulse just does so much healing. And that is it. Those are all the talent changes to Monk and Mistweaver, all the builds you're gonna need. I will have them all linked in the description and that is it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later.